the U.S. <laughs> men's national team have yet to have that guy. Who, in your opinion, you're Greg Berhalter. You're in his mm-hmm. shoes. How do you pick the nine heading into the World Cup? Is it somebody who you say solve I've, this I've, problem I've, for us, Hugo? I've, I've solve gone, this problem I've, for us. I've gone. I've gone with this player through World Cup qualifying. I know his history. Or are you? Is it as simple as I'm going with my most informed striker come World Cup? Well, before that, Charlie, you have to think about, and you play as a forward, all right? What does a forward need? Because you can have the best nine in the world, and he's not going to score goals. Mm -hmm. You know that. Now, who do you have behind him that can create opportunities for that nine? Because that's the question. It's, you know, we always think about, well, but when you analyze the game, how many chances you're creating for that player to score goals, okay? You know, Bielsa used to say, when you analyze a game, there's three things that you analyze in a game. One is, are you keeping your style of football? It doesn't matter who you play against. That's one. Mm -hmm. How much possession or positive possession you have with the ball? And the third one, he said, which is the most important, how many chances are you creating to score goals? And I think that's going to be the key. Because for me, you have, right now, the U.S. has a couple of kids who are nines, right? Uh, But when you look at Pepe, for example, Pepe is, what, 18 years old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very young. Right now, he's not playing too much in Europe, okay? Uh, But then you have other nines who are in that mix, right? But for me, the most important is going to be who you're going to play behind those guys, where do you play Pulisic, for example? Do you play him as a winger? Do you play him as a 10? Uh, then McK- McKinney, I think, for me, when you look at McKinney, right now he's he's one of the best eights in the world for me. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, so I don't worry too much about him. But I do worry about where do you play Pulisic to take the most out of him? Because he can create, he can score, all right? He can play different positions, but it's up to the U.S. why they want to use him. So going back to the nine, I would have to think uh, uh, is who you're going to put behind so that way they can create those chances for that nine, and that nine has to be there to score. And that's the, the for me, that's the most uh, – uh, that's the, the biggest question, okay? Um, because are, are the nines that we've seen, I think we, we – Pepe, I don't know if Pepe played against us. Uh, then you had the kid who plays for FC Dallas. Um, Jesus he, Ferreira. Yeah. And then the other kid who plays in Switzerland, remember? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have a couple of them, but 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 the issue is who's behind? If you're going to play a 4-3-3, three, three, do you play with two two sixes or you play eight and ten that are creative? I, I like the – I also had that kid, um, Luca de la Torre, for example. He's, he's in the map now, okay? Mm-hmm. And he's a good player, okay? Uh, do you play him with Pulisic? Okay, that gives you a lot of more football. And then obviously on the outside, but um, I think that's gonna that's the biggest question for, for Burhalter. Who do you put as a nine, but who can really create chances for that nine to score goals?